Okay, tunaendelea na hii sehemu ya pili ambapo tunajifunza kutengeneza website kwa kutumia language ya Python na framework ya Django. Katika hii sehemu ya pili tutajifunza namna kufanya installation ya Python na Django framework. Okay? So katika episode iliyotangulia episode number 1 tuliitambulisha project yetu ambayo tunajifunza namna kwenda kuitengeneza kwa kutumia language ya JavaScript, Ajax, lakini tutatumia language pia hii ya Python, tutatumia framework ya Bootstrap, tutatumia CSS na HTML kutengeneza hii driven web application inayoendesha na database na yenye dynamic contents okay so tulitambulisha project yetu hii kwenye episode iliyotangulia tuliona kuna dynamic contents ambazo ni hizi okay so hizi dynamic contents na zinatoka kwenye database zao well. so tuliona tu click kwenye icon of course una download pdf hizo na nini so ukija kwenye application so tulisema hapa user anaweza kufanya application na click register of course uh, tulisema hii ni data validation na imefanya python okay so tuingie katika somo la leo ambapo tutaona sasa namna ku kwanza kabisa kuinstall Python, okay? Lakini kisha install Python, kuinstall Django na library zile za kuanzia. Of course kuinstall Django inakuja na hii hapa admin. Inakuja na hii admin uh, admin uh, site. So hii ni site kwa ajili ya admin kufanya management ya modu mbalimbali kama tulivyoona modu zetu hizi hapa kwenye episode iliyotangulia, okay? Okay so kwenye uh, episode hii sasa tunaona namna kudownload python lakini ku install python ku download django of course na ku create a project ku start a new project so ndio google of course hapa google nitakuja nitakuja hapa nitaandika download okay python download python so nita click enter ku kuweza ku download python so ndio click hii link ya kwanza ili download okay So nitapeleka katika page ambayo nitaenda ku download Python. So nitakuja katika hii page nyingine ya, ya Google nitasema download ja, uh, sorry zamp. Uh, zamp hii ni of course ni software ambayo nilitambulisha kwenye episode ile tutangulia ni control panel zao ambayo ina save sasa ndani yake kama vile ya database na web Apache ni web server na SQL database server. So hizi zote ni services unapatikana ndani ya control panel ya Apache. So hii una download pia na uki download version ambayo imepitwa na wakati of course Django haita support itakataa. So unataka download ile current version na current PHP version kwa sababu hii kuna zamp yenyewe version yake, kuna PHP version yake, kuna PHP my admin version yake. Lakini ukisha download zamp maana yake unapata hizo versions zote. Of course unapata version ya PHP unapata version ya database yenyewe MySQL okay unapata version ya PHP MyAdmin okay so ukija katika hii page ya ya ku download python kuna link itakuja hapa utabonyeza download okay so uta download python and the current version hii no of course by default na download ile ya windows okay no sio katika windows by default una download kwa kutumia windows okay so uta download hiyo python ukija hapa kuja uta download hii zamp control panel So kwa download zamp maana yake unapata na nilisema kwamba unapata na PHP version current version kwa wakati ambao utakuwa una download wewe utakutana na version ya hiyo. Kwa hiyo unapata PHP my admin version current version na nisoto kwa kiki download 64 bit okay kwa ajili ya ya Windows. So kama mtumia Linux so download kwa ajili ya Linux, so kama mtumia Windows so download kwa ajili ya Windows. Okay. Installation of course naja kuonyesha kwa sababu installation ya software inajulikana una install as a normal kama unavyo install software nyingine. So na Python installation una install as a normal kama unavyo install uh, software nyingine. Okay, so unabadi ku download Python, of course ningoja kwenye directory ya downloads, of course click downloads hapo. Naona file yangu ile imesha download, hapa so double click. Nita double click kulifungua ile file ya Python, kisha nitabonyeza run ku install kwenye computer. Okay? Okay, so hapa cha msingi hapa unaweka tick hapa kwenye add python dot executable path kwenye environment variable. So usipoweka tick hapa hii project utaweza kuifanya na zoezi zitakuwa limesha hapo kwa ni muhimu sana kuweka hii tick hapo kwenye environmental variable After that unabonyeza hii install now of course mean we shall finish installation okay so ni shall install na just click close okay so now we are going to create a new jungle project ngoja katika navigate katika just a desktop okay so kwenye desktop na just kubonyeza a new choose new folder So new folder unachagua project name for example my project. Okay? So hii ni jina la project ambayo tunataka kuitengeneza. So ta double click. Okay, kufungua hiyo folder. 
So ngoja hapa katika address bar, kwa sababu address bar ni hii, nita just ku ku select, uh, basi nikiklik hapo hapo itai select hiyo, kisha nitaandika CMD. CMD kwa ajili ya kufungua kwa prompt, nita click enter kwa execute, okay? So ndakuwa imefunguka kama hivi. Hapa. So hapa nita install uh, Django. So nitatumia pip pip hii ni just uh, just a command inayotumika ku install library mbalimbali. Mbali. So nataka angalia pip minus version, okay? kisha nda click enter ku execute ok so lazima ikulete hii message ukiona kama ichi kipande kijarani ujue uja, uja install vizuri python so uninstall install pia right so now nitaandika what a pip then nitaandika uh, command for install then nitaandika install django ok of course nisha ifanya installation sina aja ku install sena wata click enter ku execute ita install django ok so ita take time bidoka kama daika mbili Django itakuwa mishe kwa installed So now Ubo ni position ya ku check version So nitaandika Django Nitaacha space Ok so la ni nitaandika Django Nitaandika Django of course ni uh, Django minus version Of course uh, Django version ok So nita click enter Sorry uh, Django admin Of course ni Django admin So Django admin ok Nitaacha space nitaandika version ok Kisha nita click enter ku execute kwa lazima kuletea hii version current ya Django ni hii. So kama ume install vibaya hii haitakuja hii message pia. Okay now. So kinachofuata ni kufanya kutengeneza new project. So nitaandika uh, Django, okay? So nitaandika hiyo admin. Kisha nitaandika start what project. Okay. By then uh, issue project name, okay? So project name naandika for example insurance, okay? This is my project is na click enter kwa execute. Okay, so project ni mesha run. Kina chufa ni kuangalia wa project yetu. Of course ni kwenye my project ni kifungwa na kutana na hii insurance. So, okay, hii ndo project yenyewe ni to insurance na hii ni fala manage. So, kingia ndani, kuna hii uh, settings, of course, URLs, kwa wajana nyinezo. Hai ni mefali ya Python. Okay, so kina chufa ni kutangineza application. So, nita kujia tena hapa, hapa. Okay. Nitaandika command ni to change directory ya ni CD nitaandika CD to directory ambayo inaitwa insurance okay so nita click enter ku execute okay nimesha ingia kwenye insurance kisha nitaandika command inaitwa python okay nitaandika python then nita access file inaitwa manage.py so manage.py somewhere ili hapa so code back hili hapa manage hili ni file la python na wana nitaandika manage then wana malizia na file extension.py Then start a new app. Start app. Then app name. App name, for example, just write app one. Okay. By then, I click enter to execute. So app one, misha kwa created. In some kijaka tika insurance na app one. Imitengeza mafal. Ya kwanza ni migration. Okay. So kuna default migration. Kwa hiyo kufanya migration ya mode wa mbato ya kuziona. So nige just kulifungua ya kufanya migration. Kuna migration ya user authentication, groups admin na nyinginezo ni default ok so kuna file la admin admin ndo hii tuliona of course ya admin ya na uzo kwa kuingia wanye site so hii ni site ya admin as well so ni site ya admin imezesho na nini imezesho na ili file na ito what uh, admin ok so kuna apps kuna models so models ndo kama hizi zona hapa of course hizi ndo hizi hapa models zona wana hapa kwenye app one of course hizi model for example ok so kuna file na ito test na file na ito views so views ndo wapa kuna business logics kutika upande wa system kuna upande wa database na kuna upande wa logics so database lazeka ni kuhifazi data lakini logics zinafanyika kwenye application nyewe ili kuweka uh, logics za kukithi mahitaji ya application kutengenezwa manaki inaenda kukithi mahitaji fulani ya kutatua matatizo fulani so business logics zinawa katika views mm, uh, Models ina kuwa na interact na database as well Admin ni admin migrations ni data migrations na zufanyika Ok, so hatuwa na ufata ni kui run server So hatuwa na ufata ni kui run server Ok, so nita kuji hapa nitaandika python Ok Nitaacha space, nitaandika file manage.py Nitaacha space, nitaandika run Ok, server Ok, run server kisha nita click enter ku execute Okay, so now unu kuchika kuna migration sasa jafanyika Ndo hili file na kwenyesha la migration Na hitu wajia kufanya badai After zanu wajia kukopi na IP address 
Okay, so just control C shot kaja kukopi ya katika browser. Okay, na kuja popote, for example, hapa. Kisha, na just kuipaste your web address. Umona, kisha kuipaste na kuenza enter ku execute. So now, jango misha kuwa successful installed. Kama na vuona. Hii ni message. Okay, so na hapa pandaza nkibonyeza yu forward slash. Nikandika admin, of course, niki zoom. Bada kupesti ile RS, nifuna lapa nime pesti ndo hii, nilo copy pale, nika click enter, nika jaya hii page, ok. So now, hapa hapa na just ku, kuongezea ya forward slash, kisha na, na access admin, kisha na click enter ku execute. Ok, so now sorry, so pass nime andika vibaya, so admin, uh, just admin. Ok. Ok, so now kuna just uh, some errors kwa hivyo kujo kutroubleshoot badai, tukiendea na project yetu Ok, so hapa tusha fanyikuwa kwa install python, tumesha install jungle, tumesha start project, tumesha start na app Na imani hii tuamalizia mwenye, so uta install your uh, zamp control panel, uta install kwenye computer kwa zamp control panel 